before we head to the video, I would like to say a few words regarding my glyph. I know many of the new members here have been requesting my glyph in game, so if you want to represent the squad, then just simply redeem my glyph code in the market by typing grind hard squad. This is a global glyph and it works on any platform, just don't forget that it should have no spaces and all letters are capitalized. Honestly, lads, I haven't slept well for two days now. I did post an announcement on my community tab that I won't be publishing any videos yesterday because my little boy was sick. Every time my boy gets sick, me and my wife can't sleep and it really scares us since my son had experienced convulsion in the past. We are glad that his fever is lower now compared to the past few days. So please, pray for his speedy recovery. I'm really sorry for sharing my personal feelings in this video, but it came out naturally while I'm typing this script. Warframe has been one of my pastime right now, so my mind would get lost and stop worrying too much. This leads me to create this video. I spent hours testing builds and wasting resources just to make my Garuda setup better. Don't get me wrong, we all know that Garuda is great because of her Seeking Talons and Dreadward Nuke combo, but the problem I always have with this kind of setup is it requires too many steps. Also, Charging Dreadward takes a lot of energy and for all that effort, you will just wipe out a group of targets and not the whole room. I'm not saying that this is a nuke Garuda is bad, and some of you have witnessed her nuking power on this channel. It's just, not everyone wants to do it because they think it's slow and it needs some effort to make it worthwhile. That is why I decided to tinker with my Garuda build, and end up with a couple of interesting finds. First of all, I almost forgot that Proboss's Sinos does pair well with Garuda's Seeking Talons. I think I've already shared this on one of my Proboss's Sinos video, but for those who have no chance to watch it, then this infested bow that dish out decent damage to enemies affected by Seeking Talons, the viral proc, and as well as its damage seems to amplify the bleed procs of Garuda's fourth ability. However, there's a minor issue about it. Remember that, Seeking Talons will stagger enemies for a couple of seconds, just like how Equinox Maim ability works. During this time, you should not fire Proboscis Sinos as it will not deal much damage. You will need to wait for a couple of seconds to fire the projectile to deal decent damage to enemies. However, don't expect this combo to be catastrophic as the Seeking Talons plus Dreadward Nuke combo. The Proboscis Sinos can deal decent damage when Seeking Talons debuff is active, but it doesn't expect to see massive numbers compared to the regular nuke combo. I have tested a couple of weapons, but ended up with Proboscis Sinos being the best for Garuda. However, I did not test out all weapons since I have decided to move into the Helminth system. If you have a weapon combo for Garuda, then feel free to share it on the comment section below. After the Proboscis Sinos, I also tried a couple of Helminth variants. First is the combination of Sarin's Molt and Garuda's Blood Altar. I know it's not meant for the Nuka setup, but this does allow Garuda to have good survivability. Sarin's Molt does not only add healing to Garuda, but the short crowd control allows you to perform that nuking trick without being disturbed. But then, I remembered that there are two subsumed abilities that are way better if my goal is to not get disturbed by the enemies while performing the nuking combo. Why would I even bother adding healing and mediocre CC when I can go full map control with either shooting gallery or Octavia's resonator? Adding a high range in the build allows me to solve the problem. Also, if I choose Octavia's resonator, then I can equip its augment which lures enemies in one spot, giving me more control on the floor and making it easy to nuke a bunch of enemies. Theoretically, it's a good combination but in reality, it will end up messing Garuda's build. Both Resonator and Shooting Gallery needs max range and if we put Overextended in Garuda's build, then we will need to add more Power Strength mods just to get back the needed Power Strength for the bleed chance on Seeking Talons. Then, I tried out Defy. I did not do this to get more armor value but, Defy does some decent nuke damage when it absorbs damage from enemies. It's perfect when combined with Seeking Talons since the bleed procs get amplified once you've hit enemies with Defy while they are affected by Garuda's ultimate ability. I tested this setup in a couple of missions, and I was surprised how well it performs in Steel Path missions. It's pretty decent once Defy accumulates damage but there are a couple of things that you need to consider. One is that you will always need to be on a flat surface to cast Defy, otherwise, enemies that are not within the elevation of the ability will not get hit. Also, you will need something to pull enemies closer to melee range, as Defy doesn't have that high radius to hit all enemies in a room. Lastly, you should also know that Dread Mirror and Defy don't work well together. 
Garuda's first ability does block frontal damage and this would hinder you from absorbing more damage for defy when this skill is active, in most cases, I ended up showing my back to the enemies just to get all the damage absorption, the combo may also have its flaws, but it's somehow an efficient new combo compared to the usual seeking talons plus dreadward combo, but then again, it has the same aspect and performance. It also has a lot of steps, and if you are playing solo endurance, then you will most likely end up low in life support all the time. Before I gave up, I did try the most famous Breach Surge Garuda. I know you may have seen this combo in the past, but it's worth mentioning that this is the best so far when it comes to Garuda. Honestly, this combo is not that great when you just use Seeking Talons then cast Breach Surge. It's true that it has infinite damage scaling, but the amount of damage increase per second is not fast enough to kill enemies. In all missions in this game, it's always better to kill enemies in the fastest way possible, rather than just to sit and watch the damage numbers ramp up until it kills the enemies. It's not as catastrophic as the usual nuke combo we have for Garuda but, this doesn't mean that it's just a fancy gimmick. Breach Surge Garuda can be good if we incorporate other things in this combo. Instead of waiting for the damage to ramp up, we will use the likes of Proboscis Sinos, or your own built-in melee claws to ramp up the damage of Breach Surge, which then increases the overall DPS of the combo. With all the failed experiments, and the interesting things I found with Garuda, this is so far the best updated build I can come up with for the Blood Surge Queen, this will give you survivability, crowd control, and as well as the Breach Surge and Seeking Talons combo, which is very energy efficient compared to the original new combo for Garuda. But just like I've said earlier, you will need weapons to hasten the damage increase of Breach Surge. So that's all about it, I hope that you find this video informative, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos, thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off. This is the future. Human error. Evolution. This is the future.